Well, hi everybody. As you can see, the winter's back with a vengeance. It's cold, it's wet, it's really windy. We had uh, a real bad storm the other night, 70, 80 mile an hour winds. But uh, we managed to get through it, everything's intact and we're all still here. One of my dustbins decided to have a trip up the road but I did get it back. But yeah, winter's back with a vengeance. What a good job we didn't take the pond covers off. We've had freezing temperatures at night, frosts in the morning, all sorts of things. So winter's back with a vengeance. Well guys, here we are in the filled house and unfortunately disaster has struck. The pre-pump filter has come up with a slight problem. This is why I've run it so long. I wanted to really well test it before I released any plans or anything like that. If we look very closely, I don't know whether you can see them down there. There's a couple of blisters in the paint. The different colour where the actual join of the drum is was my fault. I just gave that an extra coat a couple of days before I started to use it and it hadn't dried out properly so it went a slightly different colour but we've got a couple of blisters on the paint inside the drum so I've shut it down I'll just give it a good clean out and it was working spot on I mean I haven't touched that pump in weeks and weeks and weeks but unfortunately the paint isn't holding against the vacuum in the drum the vacuum is slowly getting to the paint and fetching it away from the drum these drums are painted with some sort of sealer when you get them so I don't think it's, it wouldn't show rust but I don't want the paint coming off anyway so unfortunately it's shut down and back to the drawing board on that one can't believe it what a disappointment that has been going so so well the principle works absolutely fabulous what I did notice with it though was it does slow your flow down slightly. The flow does suffer a little bit, not a lot, but it does suffer a bit. But that's because it's having to drag the water another sort of half a metre up, I suppose, above the pond level. When I shut it down and just have it drawing directly from the pond, it is a bit quicker. Do get a bit more of a flow in and through the RDF into the RDF. I'm not sure what you can see. It's not showing up too well on my screen but we'll see what it looks like on the video later. But uh, yeah, big disappointment. I thought I'd cracked a pre-pump filter there but the paint's just not holding up to it I'm afraid. So guys, it's back to the drawing board on that one. Well hi guys. What a glorious day we've had today, absolutely smashing. I got up this morning, the sun was blasting down, a little bit cool, but the sun was really nice. I thought, it's spring here at last. And then I sat and listened to the weather forecast, and tonight we're forecast strong storms and high winds. 60 and 70 mile an hour winds tonight, they reckon. So it's buttoned down the hatches yet again. <laughs> And back to the winter, by the sounds of it. Don't you just love it? Are we ever going to see spring? But we've had a glorious day today, absolutely fabulous. Okay, that's got it out. Didn't come out, it wasn't too bad to get out. The big question is now, where do we go from here? And if I'm totally honest, I really don't know at the minute. Back to the drawing board, eh? Well guys, I'm having an absolute disastrous week this week. As you can see, the CNC machines all in bits. <laughs> I've got a had a broken cable on it. I've got to replace one of the cables, which of course goes through all this this gator work. Goes through all that and up it's the one right on the top, not the easy one. It's the one with the where it has the stepper motor right on the top there. So the cable's all got to be fed through back through all this lot. It's got to be resoldered. I've got some new cable going on it. I'm just wondering whether to do all three stepper motors at the minute or just the one. But uh, I've got this to do now. 
So that's the second thing gone wrong this week. Bit of a disastrous week up to yet. Well guys, after a full afternoon's work, I've replaced the wire up the top there to that top motor and we're up and we're running. Thank God for that, one job down. <laughs> They're piling up on me a bit these jobs, but I will get there. But we're back up and running again on the old CNC. Well guys, hope you can see we're up and running again. It's a bit noisy in here, so I hope you can hear me. We're back up and running. So uh, we'll see how things go. It's, it's having a bit of a test at the moment. I'm just making sure everything's all right. So we're going to try to knock a sign out. This wood is pine, so we'll see how it goes. But it's going quite well at the moment, but I don't want to speak too soon. OK, guys, the roofing cut's done. Now we've started on the, uh, the middle cut, which is the fining cut for the, the uh, plaque. But then we should go to a cut where it cuts it out. So I'm not quite sure how well you can hear me. But this is the machine at work. As you can see, it's cut all the rest, just rough cut it. And now it's going to go in there and sort it all out. Now we're at the technical bit where it's doing the actual lettering. And it will also get onto the fancy bits that's at the end. I hope you can hear me okay, I've got a mask on because it does create some very fine dust and I didn't wear a mask the other night and found myself coughing a bit so it does create very fine dust so I've got a mask on it's doing the technical bits at the moment and we'll have a look when it gets down to the nitty gritty very shortly guys we're about two thirds of the way across let me just take my mask off probably be a bit better we're about two thirds of the way across now still at it it's still carving away so all's good at the moment it's holding up so we'll see how we get on but it's not looking too bad at the moment give you a bit of a closer look what we're doing here this is the finishing cut. Well, the finishing cut to the plaque itself. It'll then go around and cut it out. I'm cutting this out of pine, by the way. Hey guys, as you can see, we're coming towards the end of it now. We're getting on with it. We're nearly there. I've just got to cut it out after this. We've been if it'll focus, let's have a look we've been one hour and 35 minutes on this finishing cut we was about three quarters of an hour half hour on the first cut about hour, an hour and a half on this one just over and then I've got to do the cutting out which shouldn't take long at all so we're definitely getting there We've just about cracked it. So I shall get the hoover out now and just hoover some of this off. And then we'll take a look and have a, have a look at what it looks like. And there you go, all done. Ready for a bit of varnish or whatever and to go on the gate. So the old CNC router's back up and running. I did say it wasn't my week this week, didn't I? My uh, pressure washer has packed up. <laughs> so I'm really having a bad week this week. I think I'm going to go back to bed and stay there. So I've got to take that to bits and see if I can fix that. But uh, they say things come in threes. So let's hope that's the last. But that's the pressure washer up the creek. So I'll have to take that to bits and see if I can fix it. What a good week I'm having. Well guys, it's really windy out here. It was pouring down with rain first thing this morning, but all this wind has dried it up very quickly. I'm hoping to get a little bit of video in, but it is very difficult. I'm not quite sure how it's going to interfere with the sound. 
let's just have a quick look at the fish they all seem to be doing well I've just popped the top off it is windy so I'm hoping the wind doesn't lift that cover I've got off up but uh, they're all in there all seem good at the moment I have got the air stones on so that might be uh, blurring the picture of them really but uh, they're all in there all doing well so they've come through the winter fine still a little bit slow yet not moving about too much but we're holding a good temperature the pond temperature is about 10.3 I think centigrade so we're doing quite well all through all these uh, strong winds and rain since we've had it the pond temperatures really held up well it's not been cold it's just been very windy and very rainy so the pond temperatures held quite well they still get a handful of food a day being as it's above eight degrees it's up to ten as i say so they're still getting a handful of food still doing well i do like to pop the cover off and just keep having a quick look at them but as you can probably hear the wind is quite strong this morning we've had a week of this now and they give us another couple of days of it so it is very difficult to get any video in done but I thought I'd give you a quick look at the fish let's just have a look at the plants that we put I haven't looked at them for ages have a quick look at the plants that we put in the holding tank for the winter let's see if we can nip and have a look at them I'll just whip the top up okay well if I can get a bit the top's gonna flap about I hope it's not gonna fall on us I'll try to hold it at the same time the wind is trying to take it away but they're growing quite well they're coming up quite well even the little uh, irises at the end are coming up and sprouting well so they've really gone well in here this winter they've really started to grow now but I don't want them to do too much growing in here I want them to do the growing in the pond but they're coming back nicely so great stuff well as you can see in my filter house I've had to put the dustbins in here because they uh, tend to want to walk up the road so they're having to uh, be in here while these strong winds are on let's just have a quick look at the pond temp is what I've come in for oh it's a lot better in here not, it's not so blustery but yeah we've got 10.3 10.3 in there look it's about 15 degrees here today so it's not cold at all but everything else in here is all good sooner I get these bins out the better in fact I'm gonna to have to take them out sometime today because I want to clean the pond pump out haven't done it for a couple of days so uh, I want to give that a good clean out really but everything's good everything's running fine I just can't wait till we can get all this sorted and get down to some decent pond work to be honest but we've got a few more days of it yet so they say well guys you know I said things come in threes <laughs> well this is the fourth <laughs> I wanted to improve the connection from my BT box to my computer see if I could make it a little bit quicker so I went online and bought one of these things three aerials and fits in the small PCI slot they're from China would you believe anyway shut my computer down fitted this got it all fitted struck my computer back up got it up and running and all of a sudden everything locked up and I mean it locked solid I couldn't move or do anything with it so I ended up having to shut the power off to get it to uh, shut down went to reboot it wouldn't reboot couldn't find any system to boot from went into system repair system repair come back it couldn't repair my system went into system restore it couldn't restore the system oh dear this week's driving me mad and it's only Thursday so I've had to completely reinstall my Windows 10 so I've just now got it back up and running Windows 10 is now installed as you can see I'm just getting my programs and stuff back on it which in the quick job you lose at least half a day nearly a day sorting all this out because I've got a lot of programs on it and of course all my editing stuff and that sort of thing what a good job I back everything up 
God dear, I'd have lost an awful lot of stuff if I hadn't. What it was, I really don't know. It's, it's, as soon as I fitted this, it locked the whole system up. I don't know what it is, but I dare not put it back in again. So that was a waste of money. Anyway guys, I can now probably get some video editing done. Try to make up some sort of video. There's not a lot to talk about with the fish at the moment. So there's not a lot I can report on. So I'm stuck really. But I've had plenty to do. This is the fourth thing this week. And like I say, it's only Thursday. Oh God, I've still got Friday and Saturday to go yet. <laughs> I'm dreading it. Oh dear. Anyway guys, we're back up and running. There was just one thing I wanted to mention. For some reason, well they give me a reason, YouTube keep reducing my subscribers. I just get an email saying we have removed some subscribers from your channel as we suspect they may be uh, spammers. Well, this keeps happening. Every time I get over 10,000 subscribers, YouTube come along and knock me back. The first time they did it, they took about 1,500 off me. And now this is about three, if not four times. They take just over a thousand subscribers every time and say they've removed them because they're spammers. And I mean, I can't believe there's that many spammers. It's every time I get to over 10,000 subscribers. They seem to knock me back for some reason and that is so annoying. But there you go. I just hope it's not you guys that uh, feel the effect of it. Well guys, it's still quite windy at the moment, but the sun's out, which is quite nice. I've come down the bottom here where it's a bit uh, bit more shaded and out of the wind. But I'm sorry in this video if I've gone on and moaned a little bit, but I just thought I'd let you know what a disastrous week I'm having at the moment. So I've got my computer back up and running. I've got the CNC router back up and running. I can't do a lot about my pre-pump filter. And I'm now going into the shed to see if I can fix my pressure washer. <laughs> what a great time I'm having, not to worry. I'm not going to moan anymore. I do apologise for moaning, but I'm having a terrible week at the minute. They give rain coming in this afternoon, so I'm not going to be able to do a lot this afternoon by the sounds of it. So I might as well be in the shed and get that uh, repaired. Anyway, guys, I'm going to call that it for another video. Until the next one. Thanks for watching, do take care, and as always, happy ponding.